Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to solve the questions based on position vectors. This is my first video. I will be making one more video on position vectors. If you have any comments, write down on the comment box. So let's get started. Relative to an origin O, the position vector of P is minus 2i minus 4j and the position vector of Q is 8i plus 20j. Find the vector PQ. Find the modulus of PQ. Find the unit vector in the direction of PQ. Find the position vector of M where M is the midpoint of PQ. Now let's solve this question here. So that will be OP. The position vector of P is given by minus 2 minus 4. I write down in a column vector form. Position vector of Q is given by 8, 20. Now we have to write down PQ. So the position vector of PQ, if I write down in the form of a position vector, that can be written as OQ minus of OP. Let's substitute the values here. OQ is 8, 20 minus of OP is minus 2 minus 4. If you solve it here, it will be 8 minus of minus 2. That will be 20 minus of minus 4. So that will equal to 8 plus 2 over 20 plus 4 that can be written as 10 24 if i write down this factor in the form of i and j i will write down 10 i plus 24 j now i need to find out the modulus of pq that means modulus of pq is given by modulus of 10 i plus 24 j which can be written as root of 10 square plus 24 square this will be equal to root of 100 plus 576. So if you add up, your answer will be 676. If you take the root of that, that answer will be equal to 26. Now we need to find out the unit vector in the direction of PQ. So the unit vector in the direction of PQ is given by the vector PQ over the modulus of PQ. That can be written as 10i plus 24j over of 26 so from the numerator 2 is common so it will be 5i plus 12j over 26 now 2 will got cancelled with 26 and it will be 13 here so your unit vector will be given by 5i plus 12j over 13 now we need to find out the position vector of m where m is the midpoint so as you know that this is the vector you have pq and m is the midpoint here so the vector p is given by minus 2 minus 4 vector q is given by 8 20 now i can directly apply the midpoint formula here so the midpoint m basically that is x and y which is given by minus 2 plus 8 by 2 and i can apply the midpoint formula here minus 4 plus 20 by 2 so if i solve it it will be 6 over 2 and it will be 16 over 2 which can be written by 3 and 8 so if i write down in the form of i and j it will be 3i plus 8j so this is the first method of finding the midpoint formula now the second method is you have to suppose that the origin is somewhere here and the position vector of op is given to you OQ is also given to you. Now we need to figure it out, the vector OM. So the vector OM, if I apply the triangle law here, OM vector can be written as OP plus PM. Now let's write it here. So the vector OM will be given by OP plus PM. Now as we know that M is the midpoint of PQ, so PM will be written as half of P. Q. We just figured it out the vector PQ above which is 10i plus 24j. Let's substitute the values here. OP is minus 2 minus 4 plus half of PQ vector is 10, 24. Now that can be written as minus 2 minus 4 and that will be plus. It will be 10 over 2 and 24 over 2 which is equals to minus 2 minus 4 plus 5 and 12 now let's add it here so that can be written as minus 2 plus 5 minus 4 plus 12 which is equals to 3 and 8 
So if I write down the vector in the form of i and j, this can be written as 3i plus 8j. Let's do one more question. Relative to an origin O, the position vector of points A, B and C are minus 5i minus 11j, 23i minus 4j plus lambda times i minus 3j respectively. Given that C lies on the line AB, find the value of lambda. Now, the position vector of A is given by minus 5 minus 11 in the form of a column vector. Position vector of the vector B is given by 23 minus 4. Position vector of the vector C is given by lambda minus 3 lambda. Now, as you know that this is your line here, the vector AB and the point C is somewhere here. Let's suppose that the origin is here. Now the vector OA, they gave you the vector OA and if you join with OB, they also gave you the vector OB. Now we need to figure it out, the vector OC. So the, if I apply the triangle law here, the vector OC can be written as OA plus AC. Now let's write it here. So the vector OC is given by OA plus AC. Now AC can be written as OA plus K times of AB because I don't know the ratio. So the vector OC is can be written as OA plus K times of AB. Now let's substitute the values here. OC, OC is lambda minus 3 lambda that is equals to OA. OA is minus 5 minus 11 plus k times, if I write down in the position vector form, this can be written as OB minus OA. So, lambda minus 3 lambda, that is equals to minus 5 minus 11 plus k times OB vector. OB is 23 minus 4 minus of OA. OA is minus 5 minus 11. Let's put it in the big bracket here. Lambda minus 3 lambda that is equals to minus 5 minus 11 plus k times of 23 plus 5 minus 4 plus 11 so lambda minus 3 lambda that is equals to minus 5 minus 11 plus k times of 23 so it will be 28 and 7 Let's add it on right hand side. It will be lambda minus 3 lambda that is equals to minus 5 plus 28k minus 11 plus 7k. Now I can equate the vectors i and j separately. So I have lambda is equal to minus 5 plus 28k and I have this is my first equation. I have minus 3 lambda that is equals to minus 11 plus 7 k as I have to figure it out the answer for lambda so I will equate the value for k so the second equation will be multiplied by 4 so it will be minus 12 lambda is equal to minus 44 plus 28 k this will be my third equation I will write down my first equation below that lambda is equal to minus 5 plus 28 k as you can see that both are with the same sign so i need to change the sign here so that will be written as minus this will be plus and this will be minus so 28 k will got cancelled with 28 k minus lambda minus 12 lambda will give you minus 13 lambda that is equals to minus 44 plus 5 is basically minus 30 9. So negative sign will got cancelled from here and you will get the value for lambda is 39 over 13. So this gives you lambda is equal to 3. Let's see one more example. Relative to an origin O, the position vector of A is minus 6i plus 4j and the position vector of B is 18i plus 6j. C lies on the y-axis and OC is equal to OA plus lambda OB. Find OC. So, the position vector of OA is given by 
minus 6 4 in the form of a column vector the position vector of vector b is given by 18 6 now we have the condition that oc is given by oc is equal to oa plus lambda times of o b let's substitute the values here so oc will be written as minus 6 4 plus lambda times ob is 18 6 so if i multiply that that will be 18 lambda and 6 lambda if you add it it will be minus 6 plus 18 lambda and 4 plus 6 lambda now as you can say that c lies on the y-axis and on the y-axis x coordinate is 0 that means the i vector is 0 here let's substitute the value here minus 6 plus 18 lambda is 0 so let's find out the value for lambda from this equation so move this 6 on right hand side it will be 18 lambda is equal to 6 so lambda is equal to 6 over 18 6 if you cancel it out it will be 3 so lambda value is 1 over 3 now we need to find out the vector oc so the vector oc will be given by minus 6 plus 18 times of lambda lambda is 1 over 3 we are substituting the value here on oc so it will be 4 plus 6 times of 1 over 3 that can be written as minus 6 plus 18 over 3 if i cancel it out it will be 6 here and it will be 4 plus 6 over 3 which will be 2 here so if i add it it will be minus 6 plus 6 and 4 plus 2 so that will be 0 and 6 if i write down in the i and j k form that will be written as 0 i plus 6 j which will be equal to 6 j only so the vector oc will be given by 6 j Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye everyone.